Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the fourth video of my tutorial series on how to make your own drum kit in Logic Pro. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make hi-hats from scratch using only Logic Pro stock plugins. There's a free download of all the drum samples made in this tutorial series, and you can find the link in the description below. But anyways, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new MIDI track. And I want the ES2 synthesizer. And I'm gonna hit create. And now I'm gonna go to factory default and go to tutorial settings, analog saw initial. And since we're making hi-hats, uh, we want high pitch noises and we don't really care about the tone. So we are gonna wanna use the noise generator. So that is on oscillator three. So I'm gonna turn oscillator three on and oscillator one off. I'm gonna drag this to noise and then move this all the way to 100% on oscillator three. And what I'm gonna do now is turn on musical typing so we can hear the progress of the sound by hitting Command K. And it doesn't matter what key I hit, what note I play, because it's a noise generator and it's gonna sound the same no matter what note I'm playing. So anyway, this is what we have right now. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this sustain knob all the way down. So here's what we have. And then what I'm gonna do is turn this decay knob down to about 36, maybe 58. And right now we're gonna be working on our uh, closed hi-hat, but it's really easy to um, make your closed hi-hat into a partially open hi-hat and then to a fully open hi-hat by just adjusting this decay knob. So we'll get there when we finish this, but it is a pretty easy fix. Now I'm gonna close out of the ES2, and I'm gonna add some EQ. And here's my, I'm gonna bring this here. And here's what I have so far. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is turn on the, uh, the low cut filter or the high pass filter, and I'm going to drag this all the way up to about uh, 65 hertz. Maybe 60,000, 6,000, not 60,000. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boost this just a little bit. Next thing I'm gonna do is close out of this and add some distortion. And I'm gonna turn the output at about minus four, keep the drive at six. And the tone, I'm going to do 33-ish. So that's what I have now. Next step is I'm going to add another EQ, channel EQ. And I'm going to bring this up to about 1,000. And then I'm going to put a high shelf on and just boost the highs about six decibels. Next thing I'm gonna do is add some compression. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make sure that my attack is all the way at zero milliseconds. And then I'm gonna turn my release to about 50 milliseconds. And then the ratio I'll go to about three and a half and I'm gonna th turn my threshold down to about minus 32. Next step is to add um, a limiter. So I'm gonna go to dynamics and then adaptive limiter. I'm gonna add about seven decibels of gain. And that's about it for the close hi-hat. So, I'm gonna call this closed hi-hat, and I'm gonna bounce these out at the end. Next thing I'm gonna to do to get the partially open hi-hat is just duplicate this track, which you can do by hitting Command D. I'm gonna call this medium hi-hat. And all I'm gonna change is in the ES2, and I'm gonna make the decay about 160, maybe 
220. And then we're done. Last thing I'm going to do is the open hi-hat. And then I'm going to hit Command D again to duplicate it. Call it open. And this time I'm going to make this about 410. Now I'm going to bounce each one of these out one at a time. Bounce in place. I just uh, control clicked right there to get bounce in place. Uh, close hi hat. Perfect. Normalize. Sure. On. All looks good. And here is my hi hat. Now I'm going to do the same for the rest. Now we have all three of our hi hats bounced. And I'll play them each one at a time. And that's about it. To save them to your Apple Loops library, you can right click them, add to Apple Loops, and then you can choose all of this information um, and then hit create. But other than that, that's about it. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performances, and DJ tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Oh, 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 oh,